in West Baltimore claimed the life of a seven-year-old boy. It happened in the 300 block of North Bruce Street just after 1.30 1 this morning. And that's where we find 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer this evening, who joins us live with more details. Lowell. Hey, good evening. This small, tight-knit block here in West Baltimore is grieving this evening. The three children affected by this fire were considered by many out here to be the lifeblood of this block. Now, one of them is dead, another is clinging to life, and the third, a little girl, has her brother to thank for saving her life. It just happened so fast. And it's terrible. Yvonne Lyles has had a hard time keeping it together as she recalls what happened at her good friend's house early Monday morning. She says the smell of smoke woke her up. I grabbed my phone and started calling 911, and 911 put me on hold. And I just came outside screaming because I knew the babies was upstairs asleep. In that short amount of time, witnesses say the house became engulfed in flames. And inside were three young children. The grandmother had came out the door screaming, and I knew something was wrong. Dwayne Harrison oh, also God, woke to the smell of smoke and ran outside to help before firefighters arrived, even grabbing a bucket and filling it with water. It wasn't doing no good because the fire started spreading more. And you couldn't go in there, and the steps that goes upstairs had collapsed and went in the basement. At this point, the oldest child inside, an eight-year-old boy, got their attention around back of the house. And Harrison says the boy went into the house, got his four-year-old sister, and threw her out the second-story window to safety. His younger brother wasn't as lucky. He was up there already. All of them was upstairs. He was grabbing his little sister, which was four years old. He threw her out the window to us. To save her life. And then he went back in to get his brother that was six, the one that died. Fire officials identified the victim as seven year old Sean McCullough. The eight and four year olds were taken to the hospital. Neighbors described the children as God's gift to their tight knit block and feel horribly for the family. That they were just full of life. They were three loving children. Their parents loved them, their grandparents loved them, and they was full of life. Now, the parents and grandparents of the children declined comment for our story. Fire officials say the eight-year-old is in critical condition. The four-year-old was treated and released. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. This is now the ninth fire-related death in the city this year. We're live in West Baltimore tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News. Terrible.